feeling lost and overwhelmed in the middle of a major life change? Does the fire you once had seem extinguished by the uncertainty of transition? Every transition in life presents an opportunity for growth and transformation. Whether it is a career shift or personal challenge, what sets apart those who embrace these moments with confidence is adaptability. Yes, adaptability is the ability to bend without breaking, to pivot when necessary, and to emerge stronger on the other side. Welcome on this quarter of our empowerment conferences. You have been listening to my sisters in the journey. Thank you, Marlene, for putting in place and carrying on this assignment, this mission, and to all my phenomenal sisters in the journey who have been presenting today and who will present after me. I celebrate you. You are celebrated and appreciated. And to all the viewers, those present, and those who are coming to watch the replay, you are equally loved, appreciated, and celebrated. This conference will reignite your passion and equip you with actionable strategies to navigate change with confidence. Join us and discover how to transform transition from a struggle into a stepping stone to success with that showcase how adaptability serves as the cornerstone for navigating transitions with unwavering confidence. So how do you ignite your fire in times of transition? How do you embrace change without the fear of failure? One, revisit your core values. This is your foundation. Because periods of transition can disrupt our sense of direction. And so reconnecting with your core values acts as an internal compass guiding you during uncertainty. These are the fundamental principles that truly matter to you, such as integrity, innovation, or a commitment to environmental responsibility. So start by identifying your top three core values and explore how this transition can be an opportunity to live according to them. For example, let's say your core value, one of your core values is integrity and you find yourself facing a transition like a new leadership role at your workplace. Yes, how integrity can be your guiding light. You have been promoted to manager, leading a team where you previously worked alongside as a colleague. There is a lingering issue from a past where a teammate, a particular teammate, sometimes cut corners on quality to meet deadlines. And you know, of course, that addressing this issue is crucial for the team's long-term success. So how do you leverage your integrity in such a situation? Experts say, one, you start with an honest self-reflection. Reflect on how this situation aligns with your integrity. Does ignoring the issue compromise the quality of work you stand for? Would turning a blind eye create a double standard within the team? Two, open and direct communication. Schedule a private meeting with the teammate in question. Express your concern directly and honestly, highlighting the impact of their actions on both quality and team morale. Frame it as a collaborative effort to find solutions and maintain the team's high standards. 
In this way, you are focusing on solutions and not blaming. Because each time you are looking for a solution, skip the blame game. Work together to brainstorm solutions. Perhaps there are ways to streamline workflow or adjust deadlines realistically. In any case, demonstrate your commitment to supporting them in upholding the team's integrity. And fourthly, follow through with transparency. Clearly communicate the new expectations to the entire team. Be transparent about the importance of quality and the consequences of not meeting those standards. This reinforces a culture of integrity for the team moving forward. And of course, by acting with integrity, you gain several benefits. And one of the advantages, you build trust because your team sees you leading by example and valuing quality work, which fosters trust and respect within the team. It also builds stronger team culture because by addressing the issue head on, you establish clear expectations and create a culture where everyone is accountable for upholding high standards. And of course, you have the benefit of personal growth because transitioning to a leadership role often requires navigating challenging conversations. So by prioritizing integrity, you develop your communication and conflict resolution skills, making you a more effective leader. True enough, acting with integrity is never an easy task, but it sets a strong foundation for navigating transitions with confidence. It allows you to build trust, foster a positive team environment, and ultimately, this leads you to achieve success that aligns with your core values. The second way of embracing change and igniting the fire in you in times of transition is by reframing challenges as stepping stones. Transitions are inherently filled with unknowns, which can trigger feelings of fear of failure, the fear of the unknown. Known. However, a strategic shift in perspective can empower you. So instead of viewing challenges as insurmountable obstacles, view them as opportunities for professional and personal growth. Imagine that you have a new project that requires unfamiliar software and you are worried and thinking of where to start or how to embrace it or how to navigate it. Instead, see this as your chance to develop a new skill and expand your professional toolkit. This reframing fosters a sense of agency and control, shifting your mindset from reactive to proactive. Also, imagine what happened to all the millions of people who never cooked at home and how they got stuck when COVID closed down all the restaurants. Many people started learning how to cook at home. It was very challenging at first, but by viewing it as an opportunity to broaden their knowledge base, they approached the challenge with focus and a thirst for learning. And statistics from expert studies show how millions of people made a groundbreaking discovery. Home cooking is cheaper and more healthy because you know exactly what you are eating because you are the one who cooked it. And you are proud of having discovered creative and fun ways to be healthy and live a cost-effective life. How cool is that? How cool is that? 
So each time you are overwhelmed and feeling lost, find your fire. And the third way, celebrate milestones, big or small. Yes, during transitions, the sheer scale of change can sometimes be discouraging. However, focusing on celebrating the smaller victories along the way can be a powerful motivator. So, did you finally grasp a new concept that initially seemed difficult in your new training program? Or did you just do one mile walk in your newfound determination to walk five miles every day? So don't look at it as if you just walked one mile today instead of the five miles that you plan for. Acknowledge these accomplishments publicly or privately seemingly insignificant because celebrating milestones fuels your motivation and serves as a tangible reminder of the progress you are making. It is like tracking your progress on a long distance hike. Every completed milestone is a step closer to the final destination, keeping you motivated and energized for the journey ahead to keep going because you are seeing how far you have come and you are not looking at how far, only how far you're left to go. You are seeing how far you have come. You have come one mile away from where you were, from your starting point. Number four strategy, seek inspiration from industry leaders. Yes, find stories of successful people who have navigated similar transitions. Actively seek out professional biographies, industry podcasts featuring change makers, or even connect with mentors within your field. These journeys or their journeys will serve as a powerful reminder that change is manageable and that success is attainable. So you want to remind yourself that other people have faced transition, they have managed it and they have succeeded. And this is going to fuel your energy knowing that success is attainable. You will often find valuable insights and strategies that you can adapt to your own circumstances. So finding inspiration is life changing. As a life coach, I understood the power of inspiration in helping my clients to navigate change. I also understood that mine was just one experience, and I knew I would meet diverse clients with peculiar journeys looking to transform their lives. So I had to look for mentors and study their journey, noting successful strategies and action steps that could be adapted and replicated. And how does inspiration ignite change? One, research and analyze. So you are researching and analyzing. I research and uh, analyze what challenges did my mentors face? What strategies did they use for success? And all of these analyses and research strategies. So I looked out for transferable strategies that resonated with my own goals. For example, how my mentors used social media or technology to reach a wider audience and how to build a strong online community. Remember, after COVID, we were all like immersed into online living and most of the activities are online. And so you have to, if you have to succeed in today's world, you have to really embrace online, social media, and technology. And then I had to seek of ways to adapt and replicate 
these success strategies, adapting these strategies to my specific niche and skill set. And this is how I was led to develop my five step reset strategy. For those of you who follow my channel, you would know what reset is. And in the fourth place, inspiration helps you to embrace a growth mindset because you view transition as an opportunity to learn and grow. Successful people's journeys always exemplify the power of embracing new ideas and adapting to changing industry trends. Yes, and I can't really like start telling you the numerous benefits of inspiration. Inspiration helps you to reduce fear of the unknown. It helped me to reduce the fear of the unknown. I was going into coaching. That's a, a new area for me because learning about successful transitions lessons, the fear of venturing into new territory helped me to find success with new approaches. It increased my confidence because seeing how others navigated challenges, it boosts your confidence in your own ability to adapt and thrive. It gives you fresh and innovative ideas because you are exposed to industry leaders which sparks new ideas and ignites your own innovative spirit. Inspiration, I should remind you, is not about copying and pasting someone else's path. No, it is about identifying transferable strategies and using them to fuel your own unique journey. By learning from the successes and challenges of others, you can approach change with a sense of excitement and the, to create your own success story. And the fifth way to ignite your fire in times of transition, which I want to share with you today, how to embrace change with confidence is to prioritize self-care to build resilience. Remember, we are all resilient champions, but we have to build this resilience. So transition periods are inherently demanding. So make sure you are prioritizing activities that nourish your mind, your body, and spirit. You want to maintain a holistic wellness that will help you to navigate these challenges with poise determination and strength so you maintain you can start by maintaining a healthy diet by ensuring that you have adequate sleep or engaging in activities that bring you genuine joy and relaxation so this could be exercising walking spending time in nature meditation like we always say meditation it's not like you going to stay in some place and you are like a monk or a nun. You are meditating. It's a way of just sitting with yourself and reflecting and taking like an auto-evaluation of your life, like bringing you to the present moment and looking at your life like you are looking in the mirror and seeing where am I in life today. So you could also find you connect with your loved ones or with a community of like-minded people. So by taking care of yourself, you develop the resilience and mental fortitude to embrace the changes coming your way. Because when challenges come and we are in positions of transition, sometimes we need mental fortitude. We have to be in a strong frame mindset to be able to stand the storm. Also imagine like a musician or an athlete preparing for a star performance. They prioritize 
healthy meals, consistent sleep, regular practice sessions to ensure that they can perform at their best. So you are prioritizing your self-care to ensure that at any moment you can perform at your best. And self-care equips you to handle the inevitable of transition, allowing you to approach challenges with a sense of calm and focus. Remember, igniting your passion during periods of transition is a continuous process. It's not a singular event that you do one morning. No, it is a continuous process that you have to do it and it becomes a lifestyle. So embrace the challenges, celebrate your achievements and trust in your ability to navigate change with confidence and conviction. These strategies are here to help you, equip you to weather the storm of transition and emerge stronger, more resilient, and ready to thrive in your new reality. Embrace change as a catalyst for personal and professional growth. Harness change for creative solutions and thrive because why you are a work in progress and there is always room for improvement. So before I end, I want to thank Marlene again for your foresightedness in bringing together these empowerment conferences. And I want to thank all my sisters in the journey for always being your relentless and always saying yes to the assignment and for living up to the expectations of the conference. I want to thank everybody who is watching now and those who are coming to watch the replay. I thank you for your commitment to your self-improvement. I thank you for your commitment to just belong to a community that is helping you to build, to build yourself, to grow and to thrive. So thank you very much. Enjoy your summer vacation. We'll enjoy your summer periods. We will be right back.